insane. So I am reviewing the new electric range at all manufacturers and we're gonna see what has what and which is best ultimately. This review is a bit different. I'm not gonna go into all the niggly naught to six times and all of that. I'm just really gonna talk about what the basic person needs from a vehicle. Number one, sunroof. Ooh. At least that's my number one. Number two, comfort. The car's got to feel good. The chair, the steering, the whole cabin itself, good quality, no rattling noises, which this vehicle has all and more. Okay, then technology, if you're really into it, and that is the way that everything's going. So we've got all new, all automatic, all electric, coming from all of the manufacturers. Some have set dates for their all electric range, like Ford to 2030, and we have Jaguar from 2025 as well. Just going all electric. Combustion engine is dead. Now you may have seen that I've been test driving quite a few vehicles at the moment and the leading uh, competitor, I should say, for the vehicles that I've test drove so far would be the Volvo XC40, 400 horsepower. Wow. Have a look at that bad boy right there. I'd like to get these two side by side to see who would win. And then we've got the EV6 from Kia. Kia is beautiful, as you can see. It's got amazing interior, really, really futuristic, super quiet, super comfortable, and it has the power like this vehicle and the Volvo XC40. All electric vehicles have the one foot pedal drive. What that means is that when you release the accelerator, the car will slow down naturally, giving engine braking, just like the manual cars and it will recharge the battery. So you've got a win-win situation. It brings back all the fun of the manual cars that we used to get from changing down and getting that engine braking to go hard into a turn and then accelerating out. You now have that pleasure in a electric vehicle. EV6, the Volvo, are the big contenders against this vehicle from what I've driven so far. We've also reviewed the Kia Nero. Now the Nero needs a big up because this is becoming a new favorite to a lot of industries like logistics, and especially like taxis and minicabs, as it has a very good range. Range is important to mention. This vehicle here, the Tesla Y, claims to be about 250. So does the Volvo. The Nero apparently is about 270, okay? And the EV6 is very similar as well. I think the range is probably one of, if not the most important part of the electric car. We recently took out my colleague's car and he has the Mercedes EQ. A. Now I have a soft spot from Mercedes. I have the Honda E and I absolutely love the Honda E. It is my little baby. I think it's an excellent tool to have to teach people to drive. It makes driving fun, but it does not have the range. It has all that tech and more, but the range is lacking. Just wanna go into some of the features here. So we've got a very plain steering wheel. We have these little like joysticks, if you like, in the middle. So when you select what you want to control on the screen, your joysticks will move. So for example, move the steering, move the mirrors, um, and feature your way through the menus on the computer. We're gonna head off of this big road. We're gonna go onto a small road and try some of the parking. Now for me, it is a must have for 360 camera. So not only do I rave about some roofs, but since I've got the 360 camera on my Honda E, I have been absolutely I mean, in love car. with it. Do not rely on the camera for parts, touch of a button. You have your 360 camera displayed on the dashboard and you know exactly where you are, whether you're on the line, in the line or over the line. So it's a must have for me and the, the learners love it, right? So when the examiner says to you, are you sure you're finished? And you press the button and act like a G and go, yeah, bro, I'm finished. Look, I can see I'm in the lens. And the camera goes, yep. You've got this like a boss. <laughs> in one mile, bear left to stay on Western Avenue. Here we are in the car park and we're gonna test the Tesla's reverse cameras. So just like the Mercedes, to put the car into reverse, we use the stick on the right, push it up, and that puts you in reverse. It looks like it might even self-park. Start. And we'll just have a little look at that while we view the cameras. So obviously do have a good look around before the car starts to park. It's pretty freaky, I'm not gonna lie. Let's see how it does. A bit jittery there. 
Nice and slow and steady, very smooth. Some of the cars do jam the brakes on quite sharply. This seems to be doing an amazing job. It's very smooth. I'm not, I'm not scared, unlike some vehicles. And there we go. Brilliant. So I hope you've enjoyed this review. I've been Scott. If you want to get in touch with me or any of my colleagues, please do so in the description down below. And stay safe, stay tuned. We'll see you next time.